Good evening, Cal Football family, and hello. I hope you guys are all excited. It's been a great weekend. I know that I've been able to refresh and spend some time with my family, go out and get something good to eat this weekend and hang out and get ready and rejuvenate it with as much energy as possible as we get ready to go into the most important week. It's just the start of football season. It's what many of us have been ramping up and getting ready for. I can tell you that the coaches and many of our players who are returning are extremely excited. I know that I've sent out a video recently about what needs to be done. I, I just sent another text out through the band app, letting those players know that still have not uploaded the information to our school. That that's got to happen. We don't need you to come and try to get your equipment. On Tuesday, if you haven't done those things and gotten them in check, we've tried to give you guys a warning, give you a heads up as long as we could have. Speaking about trying to set a date of having a goal of having our physical information done on August 5th, and we still got a few guys who are out. And we can't have a successful season without all of you. On top of that, all right, it could be that I'm getting close. I'm getting a little, like, uptight and excited about the seasons that I, I want to take care of all the little small tasks that sometimes slow us down from actually getting to go out there and enjoy our time together. And that's all the paperwork and all the other stuff. I know that in my message, I clearly articulated the value of us being real teammates and being there for our team and how important it is that if you are a stakeholder in this program, and every stakeholder is important, every single one of you guys, doesn't matter if you're a ninth grader coming in brand new or if you're a senior, you are all vital to the operations program. When one guy misses, it affects everybody. All right, we're going to be competing at schools who have much more larger rosters than ours. And so they have the ability to have a guy who misses. In fact, they can tell a guy, if you ain't coming to practice, you just don't need to come anymore. And that kind of competition, that type of fear of losing an opportunity to play football, means a lot to those programs because, you know what, guys don't miss. But here we are with a program where every guy matters, and we need you there. All right, so I, I can't tell you the number of messages and stuff that I'm getting, and I just want you guys to listen to me on this because this doesn't apply to everybody. And you know what, it may be just the way things are these days, but I want to give you a life lesson. If you're taking on a new job, brand new job, okay, and there's a process in which you have to work a certain amount of days as you're trying out the job or building tenure before you can actually get your first paycheck, you're kind of trying to show that coach or that person in charge how important you are to this business and how good of a job you're going to be. You probably don't want to come in telling them, oh, by the way, I'm coming out for your team, but I'm going to miss this week, or I'm not going to be able to be there the first day. Or I'm going to miss this for a concert or this for a vacation. Not when you signed up for this and the information has been given to you guys back in April. If you haven't paid attention to the band app, haven't shared information with you, with your families, well, that's kind of something that you need to start taking responsibility for. Now, I get it. We've talked about this. Sometimes parents and folks, as kids are coming in brand new to a program, they don't understand necessarily what it looks like at the first or the second week of August is when we start practice each year. And I get that, and we can work with that. You know, and there's things that come up, and I'm not going to get in the middle of family and things like that. I know those things happen, but we have to begin to communicate, and we also need to communicate effectively. You don't want to tell a coach, the head coach, the person who's trying to build a program that relies on the hearts and souls of everybody in it, that you're not going to make something. A better way to approach it would be, how will it impact my opportunity to be a part of this team? How will it affect my conditioning, my performance, my chances of making the squad by missing a week of practice or missing a Friday night for a concert? Those are probably better ways to communicate something like that versus telling someone you can't do something. And you may not have a choice, but just understand the way these things come across. So think about that. It's not just a life lesson for Coward Football. It's also a lesson as you move forward into the regular world. you got to apply for a job or you're looking to apply for an opportunity to go to a particular school. Communication is key. And how you communicate is also pretty important in trying to sell how important what you're doing is to everybody else. So I love you guys. Look forward to seeing you. Get those daggone uh, physicals in. Get the information in. we got to get done. We're right there at the threshold of getting ready to go. And we all want to have that stuff behind us so we can focus on getting better. I love you guys. I'm out. Boom.